All right, thank you guys. Welcome to the show. The Flames take on the Hurricanes here this evening, and that's going to be a 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop. On Friday, January 7th, 2022, happy Friday to you. The weekend is finally here. Now, the Carolina Hurricanes are the $1.75 favorite with the total at six goals. And if you want to see which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally, there's only one way to do that, and that's to sign up for a membership on my website at brockpage.com. And following yet another losing day of premium sports picks on that website, I'm down about 4,500 already on the year. Uh, we did manage to improve to 10 and 5 in our last $15.99 daily best plays on that very webpage. And the good news is we have another $1.99 daily best play going off here this evening. And the link for that pick is in the description section below. So just a, uh, a small bright spot on that website right now. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you're still a little bit on the fence about getting a package here on my website, I'm pretty confident we're going to turn this thing around here today. Uh, but just keep in mind, we currently have over 800 members. who are signed up and active on that page right now. So if you're thinking about getting a membership here today, you're not alone. It's a pretty popular website. But anyway, when it comes to the uh, free picks here and when it comes to this Calgary-Carolina game, Freddie Anderson's the expected netminder here today for the Hurricanes. Daniel Vladar for Calgary. And speaking of Vladar, he's gotten the WM5 out of his last seven starts. He comes into this game with a 233 goals against average and a 921 save percentage. And despite a pretty rough outing last night for the Flames, they're still 13 and 6 with a couple of overtime losses on the road. And they're successfully cashing in on the puck line in 62% of those road games. Now defensively, on the other end of the ice, the Flames are allowing only 2.4 goals per contest. And they're currently in the top three in the NHL in that particular category. A lot of good stuff going on here for Calgary. They're also limiting their competition to just 29 shots on goal a game. Now, scoring-wise, Andrew Mangiapane leads the club in goals with 18 of them. Meanwhile, teammate Elias Lin, uh, Lindholm, he is dominating the NHL in plus-minus right now. Not only does Lindholm have a dozen goals and 16 assists, the center is currently a plus-24. And speaking of offense, the Flames are amongst the league leaders in scoring on average per contest on the road. They're taking on a Carolina team who's playing some really good hockey here recently themselves, but they've struggled somewhat with Calgary in recent meetings. As a matter of fact, the Canes are averaging only 2.2 goals per contest in their last 10 head-to-head -head meetings with Calgary, really struggling offensively when they're facing the Flames. And all those, uh, although these guys have been really good on both ends of the ice this year, for some reason they do tend to slow down offensively late in games. They're currently in the bottom 10 in the NHL in third period scoring at home. When it comes to the total in this one, seven out of Carolina's last 10 outings failed to get over the total of six goals. As a matter of fact, seven out of their last nine, uh, seven out of their last nine meetings with Calgary fell under the posted number. Meanwhile, for the Flames on the other side of things, they went five and two to the under in their last seven contests at the PNC Arena. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Calgary, plus one and a half, and the under six goals. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup. Short little slate of NHL action here tonight, but our next and final game, it is going to be Capitals versus the Blues, and that should be a good one. That's an 8 o'clock Eastern start time. Now, both teams are minus a buck ten, pretty much a coin flip in this one, with the total at six and a half goals. Ilya Samsonov in net for the Caps. Jordan Bennington for St. Louis. Now, Bennington comes into today's contest with a 3-0-0 goals against average. Uh, not all that great. This Blues team is also allowing over 32 shots on goal a game, so that could potentially be a, a, a pretty bad formula for St. Louis backers going up against a team like Washington. As a matter of fact, the Blues lost two out of their last four contests, and they gave up 15 total goals during that stretch. They're also in the bottom 10 in the NHL in third period goals allowed. So a lot of problem areas defensively for St. Louis. 
They're taking on a Washington team who got the W in six out of their last 10, and they do a pretty nice job on the road. The Cavs are currently 10-3 and three with a trio of overtime losses away from home this year. They also successfully cashed in on the puck line in nearly 70% of those road games. Alex Ovechkin scored 24 times already and has 50 total points. Now, Ovi's second in the NHL in goals, third in total points. Meanwhile, Yevgeny Kuznetsov has 22 assists and 33 total points himself. The Caps are currently in the top 10 in road scoring. Meanwhile, defensively, Washington's in the top 10 in fewest goals allowed per contest. They're also limiting their competition to just 28 shots on goal a game. Ilya Samsonov, he is, uh, he's had one heck of a season thus far. He's 13-2 and two with a 264 goals against average and 908 save, uh, save percentage. Uh, once again, pretty good uh, start to the season here for Samsonov. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the scoring in this one, Washington is 20-14 and 14 to the over for the entire season. They also went 7-3 and three to the over in their last 10 meetings with the Blues. I'm going to lean toward Washington, minus a buck 10, and the over 6.5. And, and with that, guys, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. Power to you by my website at brockpage.com, where we are currently 10-5 and five in our last $15.99 daily best plays. I like Calgary plus one and a half under six goals. And I like Washington minus about 10 in the over six and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our shout out of the day. And that's going to go to New York City bodyguard who said yesterday, hey, my guy back with the hockey, though. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And uh, <laughs> that's a great comment. I like that. But uh, anyway, guys. That's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on brockpage.com. Now, if you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my website, just keep in mind, you're going to get billed the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on brockpage.com, you're going to get access to that content all the way through the end of January. I always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. And if you want to access every single pick that I give out on that website, you may want to think about signing up for my board member package, where board members get access to every single pick that I give out on that website all the way through the end of January as well. Uh, like I said earlier, we're in a bit of a slump right now, so you may want to hold off on getting a package. I know I'm here to sell you things, but... Um, I don't know. I, I'm not doing too great right now. So maybe you want to hold off and wait till we start to get hot. I don't know. I, I wouldn't recommend um, I wouldn't recommend buying much from me right now as much as we've been losing. But it is what it is. We've got a couple bright spots. I'm pretty optimistic here today about the picks. I think we're going to be able to turn it around. We always do uh, when we uh, get down in the dumps. We always turn it, turn it around and come back strong. But uh, anyway, guys... Most importantly, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.